tonight on Orange County Choppers. Today we're flying to the Gap Vax headquarters in Pennsylvania. A lot of the sheet metal has a lot of aggressive edging to it, which I felt kind of fits the Gap. Gary sent me a new wheel design idea. I don't know how we're possibly going to get these things done before the deadline. Paulie D. Yeah, buddy. I heard you made Paulie D a nice bike, huh? It's all right. This is the sickest bike I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Today we're flying to the Gap Facts headquarters in Pennsylvania to meet with Gary about building a bike. Gap Facts is a huge company, and they're the leading manufacturer of industrial vacuums. You know, it's really cool to be able to fly over to Gap Facts and Gary's plane. It's always nice when we can go to the facility, see it firsthand, understand what they do, and try to incorporate that into the theme of their motorcycle. Wow, this place is big, huh? When I was first told that we're doing a bike for Gapvax, I was a little concerned because they're an industrial vacuum truck company. There's not a lot of sexiness about that. Which one of these is mine, Gary? I'll take that silver one down. Did you bring your check? Got my credit card. These are some rigs, huh? Fire it up! Watch oh! your body. Knock it! These Gap Vax trucks are awesome. They literally suck up anything. You name it. Dirt, mud, tropical forest, rainforest, monkeys in the rainforest. Yeah! Oh my goodness, look at that. Well, that thing was thirsty, huh? God! That was crazy. It's like our shop is huge. Yeah. I was impressed how larger than life everything was. Everything Correct. you did here, you fabricated. Correct. Wow. It was cool to see him manufacture these huge trucks because the same basic principles applied to building choppers also. What are you doing? Stay in one spot and the thing rolls? Is it yeah, rolling? It's rolling. Yeah. You got all the equipment in here. I really like it, man. Uh, walking through Gapvax was like walking through a modern-day uh, blacksmith shop. It was amazing. Sparks are flying, metal's getting heat-treated and melted and rolled and formed. And kind of like a blacksmith would be creating body armor or something, these guys are making vacuum trucks. We want to make this bike as badass as Gapvax. This is so cool, man. Dude. What's up, man? You said something about a spring. You agree or not? Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. I'm not scared, man. The Gapvax chopper needed to have some aggressive lines to it. We're going to do the logo on the seat. We are? Yes. All right. And a lot of the sheet metal has a lot of aggressive edging to it, which I felt kind of fits the Gapvax style. He's a big boy, too. Just under nine foot. And then uh, this gas tank is actually going to be a shield that wraps over the gas tank. Really wanted to use the company's colors, which I found to be striking. That's cool. The same with this one that comes out and over. OK. Gary started the company, took a lot of big risks to get that company where it is today. And that's what I wanted the bike to do. You know, I wanted to look a little different and uh, take a big swing, if you will. So we're not using those wheels. We're using stock wheels. Right. The design looks good. Now we send it to Gapvax and wait for them to sign off. I'm hoping that it happens quickly because this bike has to be fabricated and off the lift in two days in order to meet their deadline. It's making me a little anxious. Jason, Evan, Rick, Christian, Nick, come to my office now. It smells like wet dog. Generally, you go in there for one of two things. Either you're in trouble for something, or he's ready to just destroy something. This air conditioner, yeah. since about five years now, it doesn't work. Yeah. When you put it on, it goes off. When you put the heat on, the air conditioner comes on. If I put it on 15 times, it'll go off and then back on, on and back on. Everybody in this place got an air conditioner that works. That should be how it works, Right? Sir. So this thing goes first. <laughs> This happened to be a, uh, a day of destruction. Listen, close your eyes. Whoever picks number one gets to smash. 
If I pick number one, I'm selling it. I'm taking a lunch. You give me number one. <laughs> Straight up, dude. These guys are always breaking stuff, and I seem to miss out a lot. And uh, breaking something like an air conditioner would make my week. Oh, uh, Rick got it. Rick got it. Oh, man, I didn't even win. Give it to him. He'll buy your lunch. There you go. <laughs> Watch the window on the return. Watch the ricochet. <laughs> Finish it off. So Nick's smashing this thing, you know, to pieces. Oh my God. Oh my God. And, you know, a pipe bursts, and I think it's Freon is just coming out of there. Uh, we need a lockout, tag out. <laughs> is it poison that stuff? Yeah, I got it <laughs> yeah you don't want to oh, taste really? it, touch it. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong with the oh, in my yeah. office. Could you check it out? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Oh, that's your problem. That's why the air's not working. We could replace this right here, this part. <laughs> Glad we could help. Come on over here. What do you got? We got the approval on this thing. Got back. Cool. That's pretty long. It's good news and bad news. Good news is it's a cool bike. But you got to get it done tomorrow. Three hours ago. Well, <laughs> honestly, it's Friday. It's got to be off the lift. This exhaust is going to be quite a bit to it. You can do the exhaust. Evan should start working on the gas tanks if you're down for that. OK. And Christian can probably start working on the rear fender. We can see what we want to do with the top side. We'll get the fender mounted first. Gapfax wants this bike for its 25th anniversary convention. We have a little over two weeks to complete this bike. Rock and roll. I'll tell you what, uh, you're more than welcome to lift it and put it in there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was... This, this is a special moment here. The motor we're going to be using is diamond cut, and uh, it's going to give the bike a lot more styling, you know, effects to it, and it also has a cooling effect also. For the rear tire, we're going to be using a 300 millimeter rear tire. Um, just gives a really cool, just badass look. It's got to just clear. No, 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 don't pull it back. Rick, can I just ask you, on this side, uh huh. The frame is jogged out more on one side. How far would you relief? I mean, I went, I had to go extra far for the chain. The problem with the rear fender on the Gapvax bike is that the fender is such a tight radius to the tire. There's so little space for the clearance. You want that tire directly in the center of that fender when the chain is fully tightened. You're like way tight here, and you have a lot of room here, so the whole fender's gonna shift this way. You're gonna have maybe a half inch in between the fender and the tire. You have your thickest of your metal, it's an eighth inch. I wonder if I could flip this, dude. Rick's the man at fabrication. If you have any issue with welding or measuring or centering, go to Rick, and he has, like, every little trick you could think of. You know what, Rick? I, I, go, I go an inch. To fix the rear fender on the Gatback's bike, Rick just suggested to me we just offset the fender because it's a right side drive, so I just welded on corresponding spacers onto the fender to center everything up. All day. Issue solved. If Evan can get this tank mocked up quickly, we should be in good shape for our delivery deadline. But you know how Evan gets with tanks sometimes. It could be something really quick, or it could be something a few days. This is going to sit like right here, OK? Yeah. So the shield is going to cover this, and it's going to follow this point. So once I have the back plate on, I'm going to actually make this a little steeper, bend that down a little more. But in the rendering, it's like too low. This tank's going to be a monster, and it's going to be you know what I mean? Right, I see what you're saying. I started fabricating the gas tank for the Gapvax bike, but it's not exactly going to work out best for this bike. I really want to create something that's a little more dynamic. What's up with the tank, dude? What's going on? It's coming out cool. To try and stick with, like, the rendering. But what I have so far, these. So basically, the way it is in the rendering is it starts here, but so actually sits like this. And then, like, the, this backbone is going to, like, kind of, like, disappear and then reappear. You know? um, 
And then the other thing idea we were tossing around, which might be kind of cool, we were thinking about maybe even like, what if we ran the tank like this and then like ran the shield through here? But how much gas are you gonna get in that? I kind of think that senior sometimes is, shuts my ideas down just to shut me up. I should have known better. We were thinking about maybe even like, what if we ran the tank like this and then like ran the shield through here? But how much gas are you gonna get in that? I would say it'd probably hold maybe about three. Oh, that's plenty. What's your thought on that, uh, Gilly? You think the backbone's gonna look too much at you? Once you have the shield in there, it's gonna defer from it a little bit, I think. I know what you're saying, though. But it's different. So the gas tank that I wanna make is gonna be lower, and it's gonna expose the lower backbone, and I'm gonna cover it in a shield that actually goes through the two backbones and is one connected piece. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Let me just... Because right now I'm in the position of okay, here. Let's just go with that, all right? All right. Cool. The modified gas tank sounds fine. I haven't been open to Evan's ideas in the past, but that's because he's usually so obnoxious about it. Besides, I have to check in with another project that OCC's been working on. What's going on with the Poly D bike? Ah, uh, it's pretty much done. Okay. A few months back, Poly D came in and ordered a bike. Wally D. Nice to meet you. You got a gym here? Got, yeah. <laughs> Cannon booth? Cannon booth there. Now you're talking. I definitely want a chopper. I mean, I, I see what you guys can do. And like, my, my whole life, I always wanted to get a bike from you guys. So I kind of want you to do your thing. I'll make sure that the bike is uh, really cool. I'll get involved personally in it. And uh, I think that uh, you'll be more than happy. For some crazy reason, I, I trust you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, we got to button up some LEDs on it, and that'd be it. It'd be done. What, what is there, an event here? Yeah, the event's gonna be here. When he was here, he told me about this charity event that he was doing to help the victims' families of Sandy Hook. And I thought it was a great cause and something we can co-host together. I gotta go to the radio station and do a promo for that. I'll be back later, so we just gotta make sure we get that done. All right, that'll be done. All right. Bro. All right, also coming up this morning at the mix at, I uh, got DJ Jr. coming to mix it up. Also got DJ Paul D coming through. Got OCC. DJ Paul D in the street. Hey. 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 That was a good welcome. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, watch your hair. Hey. 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 I put my own hey. headphones on. Thank you. It's for a great cause. It's to help out the children of Newtown. And they had this tragedy. Everything anybody can do to help out, we really appreciate it. What time is going to be kicking off at? Doors open up at 8 p.m. Get there early. Avoid the line. Yeah, buddy. All right. So <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now, uh, Senior, I, I heard you made Pauly D a nice bike, huh? It's all right. You know what I mean? It's all right. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen it yet. My whole entire life, I've always wanted a bike from Paul Senior, so I cannot wait to see what he did to this bike. Paul Senior? Yes, sir. Yo, nice tan. Where'd you get that tan? Last time I saw you were white. I just want to say, he, he got tan because of me. He didn't want to be too pale. He knew I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> We have one day left to get this Gap Fax bike off the lift, but we can't afford to cut any corners. That has a feel for bars. First instinct is underneath. You do that. Simple. And then just do your speeder right there. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking is that now that's your highest point. It might look goofy. That's why I was even thinking bars underneath. Being underneath makes you lean over farther. Plus, you're taller, so you're gonna probably move back a little bit more. Dun, dun, dun! Uh oh, he's, he's back. I have an idea for handlebars. Do you? Yeah. What is it? We want to do something that's, like, low, right? Like, low. Just do a short little yeah. inch and a quarter. Just run them out like that. You have any slugs? Notch this out this way. So it's almost on the yeah, rise. You could. Drill it and sink this into it so it's almost on the bar. Can you run it down like that? That'd be cool as hell. So yeah, you're pretty. gonna be down here. So you, what? you might hit this. So Hello. what? Okay. <laughs> Put your hand on there, Rick. I think on this particular bike it'll look cool if the bar's like that to lean over. Yeah. I mean I like it like that. I do. Let's do it. The 
Gapback's bike for the primary cover, we're actually gonna use their corporate logo. We're gonna incorporate that, make it 3D. We'll scale that artwork to fit, raise off about an eighth of an inch height for the letters to give them some depth and a little taper to them. And once we machine it all out, Ralph will paint it up, look just like their logo. handlebars in place and they look good one thing we didn't account for is that where evan's tank is it might come up too high and the bars might hit it how does it feel i mean it has a reach uh, it'd be more like that i would definitely lop some off say inch and a half each side my hands are like right here i mean how, how, how would it be for you for turning <laughs> <laughs> i didn't realize you're way up in there What's that do for your legs? The downshift, you're lifting your whole leg up. The upshift, you're, you're using that muscle that you never really use down there. I'm not sure if these short bars are gonna work out all right. You really have to reach for it. We wanna do something along the same lines without changing the look of the bike too much, though. I hate to say it, but the only other thing you could really do is cut the front of the weld and kick it up a little bit. Probably not a bad idea, Rick. Because we can do one side. You can always take it back. You wanna do that? Yeah, I mean, take freaking five Let's minutes. All right, Evan, get back to work, huh? <laughs> well, which way do we need to go now, Rick? This is the right side. We'll cut the bars on an angle, which will solve both the reach issue and the clearance issue while keeping the integrity of the design. Ooh, that made a big difference. Oh, yeah. The question is, will the old man approve it? If he doesn't, we're screwed, and that clock is ticking. This one's what you, this one's this side. What do you think? That is over yes. here. That'll be straight yeah. up over here. This yep. one goes. No, you're totally Not right. Nothing matters for now. I'm looking at the arc. I know the guys are having an issue with the placement of the handlebars. I'm glad to give them input with a fresh pair of eyes. What'd you do? That out of there. No, yeah. What did you do? Oh. Nothing. I didn't do nothing. Dude. I just have a really good eye. Dude. So you can perfect, see. man. Right? That's cool, right? The shield came out nice. He's got the front fender there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it covers the front wheel. It goes here. I like it a lot. For all the trouble that we have with the bars, they really come out well. You know what it is? Hey, the, the backbone looks cool exposed. Now that we finally mocked up the Gapbacks bike, uh, it's off the paint and powder coat. Just make a note on there, too, that we got to put those spacers underneath the transmission. With each bike that we do build, we create a bike breakdown sheet, which helps us when we start the final assembly. This helps us avoid mistakes that we encounter during mock-up. We got to use a spacer underneath the heat shield. Put the rear fender on first. Yeah, rear fender before tire. And battery box before exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bend your knees at all. Well, the Gap Facts bike is out for paint. It'll give us a second to finish off the Pulley D bike. We decided to just build a badass bike, and he really wants people to get that wow factor. It has the Italian flag on the primary, and it has the no grenades on the point cover. The exhaust is custom on the bike. We beat out the fender and put a double fender and another fender down the center of that. The air breather matches the wheels. It almost looks like the inside of a tornado, there's a lot of cool things going on with that bike. Look at this one. Wow, that's cool. Christian is like the master of anything electrical, and the way he set it up is with the LED lights off a remote, which you could change the colors. I think the lights really complemented the paint job because the red does pop with the green. You don't have any like this at your house. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> There was a lot of work put into this bike. I just thought it'd be cool to bring everybody around the lift to start the bike. Turn the key, Rick. <laughs> the 
sound of the bike always counts a lot. The sound of the pipes on this bike were kind of perfect. Wow. The event that we're having tonight, it's a charity event. The money's going to Newtown Youth and Family Service. Who's ready for GTA's Quality Team? All of a sudden, I hear this rumble coming from behind me. I turn around, and it is Senior on the sickest bike I've ever seen in my whole entire life, and I can't believe it. Oh, my God. This is the sickest bike I've ever seen in my whole entire life, first of all. This is the best day of my life, second of all. <laughs> you have no idea how long, my whole entire life, I, I watched this guy's show, and I've been riding since I was four years old, but my whole life, I never could even dream that he would ever make me a bike. Like, make me a bike. Why would he make me a bike, you know what I'm saying? I knew Senior was going to kill it and do his thing, but this thing is the dopest bike I've ever seen in my entire life. By far, I can't believe it's mine. <laughs> Hold on one second. I just want you to know this is a grenade-free bike. <laughs> Thing that he came to me to build a bike for him, but it was a real honor for me to help host this important event. The cabs are here. Let's get senior, in. dude. What if uh, see what car he has? We should take it off road or something. Get it all sorts of muddy. Where's their mud? The creek. <laughs> If he has the Hummer. Get it stuck down there. Yeah. So for the longest time, we've been trying to figure out how to get Senior back for the pranks that he played on us. So we figured the best way to get back at him is sealing his car. Even if we just took it and just, I'll just burn the tires off the whole length of the building. What are you parking on the front stairs? Like, yeah, like up on an angle? See how high up we can get. It's <laughs> a good idea to get it up on an angle. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's the traction control? This is going to be pretty awesome. <sighs> Gotta go in the field, dude. <laughs> Just keep on doing it. We're in the car and we're spinning donuts. I felt like I was. 15 again, and you know, like he just stole my dad's car. Kind of hoping you get caught, but like, kind of hoping you don't. That's part of the thrill. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse! We're like, you know, this is cool, but it's, it's not enough, you know. You know, I want to do maybe a little damage to his tires. So I'm just sitting there for like a solid minute, just like just power breaking and just melting the rubber off his tires. Well, now that we're done, you know, blowing the tires off of this thing, we're gonna pull it up on the front of the steps here and just park it there and let the old man find it. <laughs> right above there. Oh, oh <laughs> my God! I might have misjudged the angle of the stairs. I didn't really want to damage the car, but. You know, there was definitely some damage to the front bumper. Oh, dude, it chipped the <laughs> Senior's not really the type of guy that's gonna notice this, at least not right away. So we just decided, let's just go put it back downstairs, kind of act like nothing happened. Well, that went off without a hitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Paul Sr. What's up, Steve? Did you drive your car erratically at all? Do I? Did you, like, in the past couple days, I got people talking to me about... My your black car? Suburban. No. <laughs> okay, so that's not you. No. Because I got reports in the cafe from retail that somebody had your vehicle and they're Where out of control. I know I'm telling you, 
I'm gonna show you what the vehicle did. <laughs> it wasn't you. Steve came into my office and asked me, have I been driving my car recklessly? And at first, I thought I wasn't sure exactly what he was talking about because I always drive my car recklessly. Took a chunk out of the step. No. They way. took a chunk out of the step and uh, they were like, I don't think it was senior, but it was definitely his truck. So I got, I don't know. You want to go see it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Something's up here. Something smells yeah, suspicious tell me about here. It. I got, they got me on the case here. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, you got who, the old, uh, who, uh, deputy dog. Somebody's uh, <laughs> deputy dog on the case here. They told me that there was damage. I haven't actually seen it, so. Well, it's either you or somebody grabbed your vehicle. Somebody with a mustache like mine? They said they got it up on here. Oh, boy. Shut there it up. Is. Look. So you didn't do this, right? No. How the hell? So I think That the looks next like a thing... bumper or... Fr I don't know. All I know is that somebody's going to pay. We got to go check your car. If my car is damaged, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. No. It's not so bad. Oh, look at this. Got it, dude. Who? Who do you think? I think we're going to have to interrogate everybody, though. <laughs> Somebody's getting <laughs> Somebody took my car, and they drove it up to the front entrance. Yeah, I know what happened to the suburb, but I'm not going to tell you who did it. I really can't get mad, because that's just the way it is around here. I'd be a hypocrite if I complained about it. Somebody's going to pay. Would you mind being part of the interrogation force? Yeah, no problem. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll kick, Ev I'll kick the... Evan's ass if he did it. <laughs> I don't care. Either way, okay. Evan's yeah. going down. Kid's going to break. Easy. Get him in here. I swear, if Evan did this, there's going to be hell to pay. Sit down, Evan. Hello, gentlemen. We're going to ask you a question, and you need to tell the truth the first time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My Suburban? Yeah, yeah, the beige one, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Do you know anything about that at all? Yeah, it's a uh, 2010, I think, right? <clears throat> Do you uh, know anything about anybody driving it in the front here? I was in the vehicle, but I don't know who was driving. <laughs> you're a liar, man. If, no, dude. You're a liar, dude. Just Good. tell him who was driving, dude. It was Christian. Hey, Christian, Evan just said you were driving yeah. the vehicle. I did just not. Said it. I yeah, did not. Did. It just said it. No, I did not. Ratted you out. So ratted you out. I said I was big time. Yeah, I was in the vehicle, and I did yeah. not know who was driving. Right 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 you said he was driving. No, I did not. I said I don't know. What did he say? What did he say? Christian was driving immediately. Immediately. How many people did you have in the car? The whole shop. Yeah. Okay, the guys pranked me. I guess I've had that coming for a while. If you're going to do something, you got to do it good, right? Yeah, they got you. Watch your backside there, buddy. Ooh. The frame is back from powder coating, and we can keep moving on this build. Okay, let's start going through these parts and see what you got. Orange, you happy? I got Evan on the motor. <laughs> Rick preparing the oil pan and the battery box. Looking good. And Christian, as usual, is running the wiring. That should look good. Everybody. <laughs> as long as we don't hit any major obstacles, we should have the bike ready to go for the Gat Vax event in three days. I don't know, the orange looks good. Motor's cool, isn't it? Picture time. The chicks like good looking guys. Get the f out of here, Kevin. Right. <laughs> I think that's perfect. I would have put you in there, dude, but everybody hates you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks, man. Including your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Poole, line two. Hello. Jason, hi. This is uh, Gary from uh, Gapax. Gary, what's up, man? Hey, I had a question for you. Okay. I just wondered if there was any chance uh, you could make the wheels look like uh, cyclones. We thought that really looked cool. Okay. 
Gary called uh, last second. He wanted to change the wheels of the bike. He felt that the bike needed a little bit more of the Cyclones, which is a huge feature on the Gapvax trucks that they create. So like the cylinder shape, but then there's a slight taper to it? Yeah, correct. But our time frame is closing on us very quickly. Not sure if we can switch it up right now. You did like a concept of a wheel. Correct. All right, cool. All right. Just go ahead and send it to me. And then once I get something uh, worked out for you, I'll send it back to you, all right? That sounds great. Thank you very much, Jason. All right, thanks, Gary. Have a good night. Bam. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Senior approved the design change on the gap vax wheel. Now we just got to get Jim to machine him up. Gap vax. Gap vax. So uh, Gary sent me a new wheel design idea that incorporates his four cyclones. Okay. So I took that idea and adjusted it into a wheel that hopefully we could make. Okay. Gap vax to like tomorrow. But he had a last minute change of heart and I want to make him happy. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, what true. the hell? You know, I know Jason has the best of intentions trying to give the customer everything they want incorporated into this bike, but uh, in this case, they're really cutting us off at the knees here. There just may not be time to get all this into the bike. So How they, thick are they? That's the front wheel? Yeah, just under two and a half inches. Thick? This, yeah. this way? Yeah. Out of the wheel. Uh, it can only be out like inch and a quarter or else you're gonna start hitting your rotor, your brake caliper. Damn rotors! These 3D inserts on the wheels, not only do I have to come up with a method uh, of, of safely fastening these things so they don't come flying off the wheels, but I actually have to cut 16 three-dimensional cyclones to mount onto these wheels. That's just time I don't have. Yes. Hey, Jim, I got two plates of steel in. Yes. Are they going to you or are they going downstairs? They are going to me. Okay. With these wheels, we don't just have to worry about the wheelbase itself. We have inserts that apply on. Anytime that happens, we have to worry about buildup of chrome, powder coat, any of these finishing processes. Hopefully, we'll be able to get everything and everything will line back up when it's all finished. We'll keep our fingers crossed because we're going to have to hit this one the first time. Gap back. Cycle starts. Everything should be okay. Excellent. Our deadlines on these bikes actually are crazy, but everybody just really focuses, you know, extra hard and um, just concentrates and just gets everything done, so there's a lot less issues. You have to go down, like, just a little bit. A little more. A little more. Good. Is that tire or what? It's just going to clear the frame. Yeah. It's just the tension. I think it's the tension pulling up on it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I really can't believe how nice that seat looks, dude. Yeah, it looks really good. Battery hooked up? Yes. My favorite part on the Gapvax bike is this three-piece gas tank that I made. We gotta watch this throttle cable because it needs to come in more. Okay. Okay. It's pretty cool, it's different, unique, and it's just a little out of the ordinary. Oh, that's cool, dude. You can see it crossing over each. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot, really. Hey, it mm -hmm. looks cool, though. I really like the paint, to be honest with you. I was kind of worried about the orange mm -hmm. and the exposed backbone. I don't think we ever did that. It's a handle. Not even sure if I've ever seen that. You know, you know I mean, the, the shield right? on there really helps. It ties it all together like the that. The shield made a difference. That actually tones it down a little bit. It does. Yeah, from the blue, from the tanks. Yeah. Start it up. Let's hear it. Are you ready?
loud. That's loud, man. Right? It hurts it, my it, it ears. It tickles him. What are you doing, man? I don't want to hug these guys, man. What are you doing? I haven't hugged yet, man. <laughs> now that the Gat Vax bike is finished, it's time to see how it handles on the road. This type of bike with the long, stretched out frame and long front end handles really well because the geometry is right in it, and it definitely looks cool going down the road. The bike really felt smooth, and I could officially give it my seal of approval. Time to pack up the bike and send it over to Gatvax for tonight's unveiling at their 25th anniversary event. I really think the bike looks great. We made some really bold choices in the fabrication, and we're unveiling it in front of the whole company. So I hope Gary likes the way it turned out. I'd like to say something, a couple words here. I want to thank everyone really really from the bottom of my heart for being here thanks for everything you guys did we uh have a surprise here OCC did such an amazing job. When I saw that bike, I was shocked. I just want to tell you that this place blows me away, and it just says America. Everybody uh, working together like family, that's the way I run my company, too. The Gatvax bike promoting their 25th anniversary is pretty radical. With its jagged and sharp design, it's very medieval looking. We were able to incorporate the company's colors and logos throughout the bike. The fluorescent orange, blue, and silver works really well together. The exposed double backbone frame is unique and gives it a larger-than-life look. The logo engraved primary cover, the diamond engine, and the spear-like pedals add an aggressive vibe. The client requested we machine cyclones into the wheels. They were chrome to match the engine, and it really enhances the powerful look of the bike. There's a lot to look at on this bike, but the gas tank is really what catches the eye with the split gas tank that was positioned between the double backbone of the frame. And then covered with a protective shield, this bike will not go unnoticed. This was a real great experience for me, and I just really want to thank everybody. I'm just so thrilled. This is the best 25th year anniversary I could have given my company. <laughs> you guys like it? I couldn't be happier with the way everything turned out. The Gatvax anniversary was a special event, and I'm honored that Gary let OCC be a part of it. Next time on Orange County Choppers, we want to make something that's affordable to the consumer. Yeah. So which bikes do you guys think work? Zero gravity and the six up. You're starting with your basic bike. We're going to create two mass production bike models. Customers can customize their own OCC bike within their price range. We got a visitor today, Shaq. I want something like a superhero bike. Dun, 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 dun. I know he's gonna build me a hell of a bike. Whatever bike that we do, it's gonna be a big one. This wheel's gonna be way off center. This whole wheel alignment issue isn't good. Blow that right apart, won't it? Oh, yeah. It's not a good time to have problems. Not being able to deliver is not the way that I want the next chapter of Orange County Choppers to start.